What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be getting into the 328, the day that I haven't been using since I got the i3. And uh, we need to get it ready for sale because it's on my insurance, I'm not driving it whatsoever, and, and yeah, we need the money for other bills. This car's been sitting for three weeks. I could not for my life find anyone selling sports LCI seats for that car, literally nowhere. I was about to just give up and just either dive my seats or just leave the two front seats gray because I couldn't find anywhere. But thank the Lord, I accidentally broke something on the E91 M3 while I was working on that video. So I went down to pick a pole, found that part, and in the same car, I found two LCI Sports seats. Tell me God was not on my side right there. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, get that car in here and show you guys what we got from pick a pole because I am just so stoked. <laughs> So now that you guys see what we're actually working with here, <laughs> yeah, we don't even have rear seats in this car for the longest time. These are sports seats. For anyone that wants these two front sports seats, I'm either gonna go ahead and throw them away or give it out to one of you guys for free. So if any of you guys are local to Sacramento, want two front gray sports seats, make sure to hit me up. These are completely for free. Again, I'm either gonna junk it, give it away to one of you guys. I'm only gonna be holding on to these for a few days, so make sure to hit me up. Otherwise, they will be thrown out. Now, without further ado, let me go ahead and get everything out of the i3 that we ended up getting from pick and pull. And just like that, guys, this full interior pretty much came from pick a pole. I got these two bad boys, the complete set for only $15 when it was pick and pull special deal where seats were all 15 bucks. I got these two for $65 each, which was such a cop because everyone's asking two to $300 each and everyone sold out of these seats. Now, unfortunately, this driver's seat is fully taken apart. Like the rails, you guys can see the buttons are on top of it. Like the seat's completely taken apart. It's all sitting crooked. So we do need to disassemble our seat and swap over things to this seat. Hopefully we can get it to work and put it into this car. I also don't know if these are heated or not if these are heated it's gonna be absolutely amazing we also got the rear seat buckles that are in black we actually moved the two front seat buckles um, from the e90 m3 to this car um so now as you guys can see we have black seat buckles in the rear it originally came with gray so we're gonna go ahead and swap out all the rears with these black ones and i also got this from pick a pull for 30 dollars which i'm super happy about this is a shadow line perfectly good working condition side mirror for an lci like what are the odds of that guys mines and the exact same side that's damaged my passenger side my my driver's side is good. My, my passenger side is having issues going in and out. And honestly, it is working perfectly fine. Like the, like the electronics and everything works just fine. But me being a perfectionist, I want that to work 100%, especially if it's going to a new owner. And especially if the new owner doesn't know how to work on cars, I want to make sure he has no issues with this car whatsoever. So this was kind of on the high side. It was about $30 from pickup pull. But again, these on eBay go for like $150. So I'm super happy with that comp. And we also got the center console for about $30 complete. The center console in this car currently right now is black. But unfortunately, this came out of a coupe, so the rear section um, doesn't work. It doesn't fit whatsoever. We have done already so much work to this car that the paint was in such bad shape. We went ahead and wrapped the entire car. We added some carbon fiber bits to front and rear. We ended up fixing out every little imperfection to the external body of this car. And in the interior, we upgraded the steering wheel, the paddles, the dash trim, the controller, the carpets was switched out, the dash was switched out. Literally everything in this interior has been switched out because black looks a lot better than gray. And once this whole interior goes in there, we're gonna do a full detail and this car, it's gonna look so 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 good we have a clean title 150,000 mile m sport factory m sport 328i e90 which uh for those of you guys who don't know these are getting harder and harder to come by and that's why i was trying to build the ultimate e90 but i ended up picking up an i3 because fuel economy and everything you know <laughs> your man's building an e91 m3 and he's getting a possibly possibly hopefully fingers crossed a v10 um r8 so end of the day we have a v8 and a v10 we need something way more fuel efficient and the i3 has been absolutely killing it i love that car you guys can even see i could fit two seats in there no problem like it's a great parts runner now without further ado guys i think the first thing i want to go ahead and do is work on these rear seats because they are taking up the most amount of space so let's go ahead jump into the rear replace all the seat buckles and replace the rear seats
guys center console in rear seats are in rear seat belts are in passenger seat is in i just need to bolt it down but the real question is because i have no idea if these are heated these are not heated does not come with factory heated seats but if the passenger is heated then this button should automatically theoretically just work so i'm going to put an accessory mode real quick and as you guys can see if i click this button nothing happens because uh this seat isn't heated please god something happened i mean I, I, i'm already thankful as it is that i found black sports seats but imagine if these are heated that would be just the luckiest thing in the world oh no it's not heated unfortunately it's all good it's all good it's still sports seats this car didn't come with heated seats from the factory anyways so it's not like i'm doing anything that this car didn't come with i just figured that'd be a super sick upgrade but anyways let's go ahead and fully bolt down the seat i'm just super happy that we finally found some black interior that's this looks so good guys finally And guys, after about, I'd say about an hour of playing around with this, I got all the broken pieces off of this seat, which is the main seat. And in this seat over here, we got this entire section down here that we need to transfer over. Now, the good news is it'll bolt up to three points on that. No problem. It'll be super quick. The bad news is now I know why this seat was taken apart in the first place. You guys can see right over here where one of the bolts actually bolt up. Uh, looks like they like cut it off with a sawzall or something, or they literally just bent it. I don't even know what happened here, but it cracked. And uh, long story short, we can go ahead and just try to get it welded up together. I think I'm gonna try to get it welded up. We have a welder, might as well try it. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's one of those projects that, I mean, we have a skill. I, I mean, I'm not that, I'm not a professional, but I think a few welds and it should be good. I mean, let's be real. It's not like anybody else is gonna take this seat apart ever again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out. It's probably gonna take another hour or two. I don't wanna set a time lapse because, I mean, I'm just kinda winging it. So I'll show you guys what I have done when I get it done. <laughs> Guys, I am not gonna lie. The first weld that I did on that seat failed completely. Um, I don't think I put the temperature up high enough because I honestly never welded metal that thick before. So thank the Lord, after actually getting it welded the second time, I went very deep, kind of like burned even through it just to kind of get make sure it has a good contact point. I thank the Lord. I jumped in that seat a million times and it has not broken. So that is a super nice sign. Literally, the three mounts are good. It's just that one mount on one side. We had to get welded up. And honestly, after that second weld, I have no doubt that that is absolutely absolutely perfect. I mean, not aesthetically, but functionality, um, you'll never even see it. I'm not gonna lie, that is probably one of the jankiest seats I ever did in my life, but it is what it is. <laughs> this car started out as a budget build. I'm selling it as a budget build, and uh, I mean, it's still, end of the day, a clean title E90 M Sport. Um, with sport black interior finally guys this transformation has taken very very long and honestly I'm probably not gonna do a project like this one again just mainly because of the hassle to actually accomplish what I have accomplished with this car now there is a few more things I want to knock out to make sure this interior is absolutely perfect now obviously it does need a good detail but check that out guys wow oh my god imagine if the original color I was able to keep it the Le Mans blue it would have been absolutely beautiful with this black interior but unfortunately the paint was in such bad shape it is what it is you never know maybe the next owner is going to want to paint the car at least he has the frame itself painted in Le Mans blue which looks absolutely beautiful so the next thing I want to knock out is this grill right over here I actually do have to remove this door card and I want to fix that as well I'm gonna go ahead and replace that I'm hoping we're not gonna run into any issues so without further ado let's just go ahead and knock that out It is 12 o'clock right now, but I want to finish up everything. So tomorrow morning, we can go ahead and just fully detail this car, top to bottom, inside out. So yes, guys, the last thing we're going to have to do is just replace this mirror. Three, two, one. Oh, buddy. <laughs> a few 
few days later, we are officially back. I have so much things going on in terms of like partnerships that I need to fulfill and getting my builds ready by the end of this year. There is honestly so much to get done and I have friends coming over, flying down to help me with the E91 build. So many things to go down and that is why I'm rushing to get this car out. I have too many cars right now on my driveway and this car is honestly just taking up space. It looks good, it drives good. Um, it's just, I don't need it. I need this car gone at the end of the day and I need that E90 M3 gone at the end of the day and I wanna focus on the E90 M3. But again, we need driveway space. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is honestly gonna be detailing the rest of the car. So I actually got the car washed last night. You guys can see it's a lot more cleaner right now. It looks way, way, way better. But I wanna go ahead and detail all the glass, make sure all the glass is looking absolutely crisp and super clean. Make sure there's no water stains on anything at all. And then when we actually get into the interior, I wanna make sure we clean these seats, clean this interior and everything for pictures. Because the goal is by the end of this video, I want this car listed up for sale. And again, we need to get things moving. We have a lot of things going on by the end of this year and we still have to pick up an R8 by the end of this year. So we need the space. Literally these next couple of weeks that are coming up, you guys are gonna be seeing nonstop videos of me not only actually working on the E91 M3, but also trying to get things moving and also create more space on this channel, possibly be getting a shop in the near future. So stay tuned guys, there's a lot going on. There's even a giveaway coming up. There is a lot of things going on guys. So make sure to stay tuned. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and detail all this glass, possibly even the wheels as well. I wanna make sure this thing looks absolutely beautiful for the photos and hopefully for the next owner. You guys said you guys wanted to see me how I actually detail my car. So uh, quick little time-lapse. And guys, after about a few hours, and the reason I say a few hours, it doesn't take me a few hours to put some tire shine and clean my glass, even though that does look absolutely amazing. Um, after I actually cleaned up the wheels and I was washing my car, I accidentally tripped over the tripod, yes, again, on this camera, and it completely malfunctioned. I'm not gonna lie, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you're washing your car and you're trying to save some money instead of going to the car washer, or you do anything in life, you try to save money, and instead, you break something and you end up spending a lot more money. So when this camera fell, it literally just went blank, I can't turn it on, I didn't do anything, and I was like, oh my God. So uh, I did what every reasonable person would do, and I took the camera, bashed it against the table a couple times, and then I broke something else, but then the camera turned back on, and everything is gravy in the Navy all of a sudden. So uh, I don't really know exactly what happened, but uh, I mean, it looks like it's working. I guess we'll figure it out when I'm editing. If this video goes out and everything looks clear right now, it looks like my camera's functioning, but I did lose my uh, my, my battery door or whatever. But hey, end of the day, it's working. <laughs> That's all that matters. Looking at this car, guys, it looks so much better. Oh my God, what a transformation since we actually got this car. Like the Narder Gray looks really good, but obviously if we got to keep the original pink, the Le Mans blue, would have looked a lot better, but still guys, what a beautiful car. Again, if gas prices wasn't too crazy, I would prefer to drive this over the i3, but, but because of gas prices, uh, the i3 has been an amazing daily, I'm not gonna lie. So as you guys know, we finally got the two sports seats in here, and uh, that seat, we ended up having to weld the bracket, but I ended up welding up perfectly. I drove it last night, I jumped in the seat a couple times, everything is gravy in the Navy, so I'm super happy that we were able to work these two seats out. And for some reason, that seat is heated, and this seat is not, because when I was using these buttons last night, you guys saw that when I clicked this button, it didn't do anything, but when I clicked this button on that seat, it actually got warm. So maybe at one point, the previous owner of whoever that had these two seats swapped out one of the seats, and uh, now one of them's heated and one of them's not, but I mean, hey, the driver one is a primary one anyways. That was a serious come up from pick a pull. I cannot believe I got two sports seats for $140. Super happy about that, especially considering one of them is a heated and it is the driver's seat. Now looking at the interior, guys, it is an absolute filthy mess. I do need to go vacuum it. I did actually vacuum a little bit yesterday when I actually washed the car, uh, but unfortunately, since I went there like last minute, the vacuums cut out and I didn't actually get to finish vacuum up and clean the rest of the interior. So that being said, let's go ahead and detail this full interior. So the only things I really use to clean an interior, I have all these bottles and cans and a bunch of different things companies have sent me out. But honestly, guys, to be honest with you guys, the thing that works for me the most is honestly a clean rag 
some purple power that I actually get diluted because uh, you don't want to do full concentrated purple power on the interior. And then this bad boy right over here for all the crevices is like pretty much in between the seats and uh, cup holders, stuff like that. That's what I use this bad boy for. But without further ado, now that you guys know what I use, I'm going to go ahead and just detail the interior because I don't think anybody really cares for me to do that. And then I'll show you guys the finished results because that's what matters. And guys, after all that hard work of trying to get this car fully together, it is officially complete. I'm with my boy Johnny over here. He's gonna be helping us get a photo shoot of this car. I'm gonna try to throw in a few of the pictures in the end of this video. But yeah guys, finally, 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 finally have this thing detailed top to bottom. I'm gonna give you guys a short little cinematic of the entire car. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to also show you guys updates of what's going on in my life. This is the kind of stuff I was doing behind the scenes and then just showing you guys the E91 content. But I'm also trying to show you guys what I try to do on a day-to-day -day basis to be able to fulfill and make that R8 happen by the end of this year. So yeah, this is one of the flips. Very excited. Hopefully we can get this thing posted and sold within the next week. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and give you guys a clean little time lapse because this baby is looking good. And thankfully, after all that work, guys, the car did come together nicely. Now, in terms of the car market, I'm realizing I did want kind of $8,000 for this car, like at the least. But now looking at the car market, like I'm literally looking at it. Um, it's went down a little bit. Like when I mean a little bit more than I thought, I put way too much work into this car for me to let it go for like breaking even type points. So I'm probably gonna end up selling it somewhere around seven, which is really cheap for a clean title 328, um, but it is what it is. I need to get this car off my hands because the last two projects I wanna focus on is getting rid of that E90 M3 once we get everything dialed in and then mainly focusing on that E91 M3 in the backyard. So I just need that car gone at this point. If any of you guys are interested, let me know. But yeah, that is gonna have to conclude this video. Again, this is one of those videos that I'm just trying to get like things knocked out, trying to get um, you know more things checked off before the end of this year so we can work on the E91 M3 and possibly get that R right by the end of this year. When I say possibly, we're 100% on track. Uh, we just have to make the right plays by the end of this year. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was entertaining, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.